fun filling in washouts today. Skidloader and I are gonna have lots of quality time. What causes soil erosion? For here in Indiana, we have mostly soil erosion that's caused by rain and it's heavy rainfall all at once. But you can get it from the wind displacing the soil. Um, it'll, it'll take off and blow actually. That's what caused, or part of what caused um, the Dust Bowl um, is the displacement of all the soil and, and mixed with poor tilling practices as well. But anyhow, I wanna show you. So we've got all kinds of different slopes out in this field and it starts up high if you're here. And then you can kind of just, I'm down on my knees, okay? You can kind of just see the lay of the land where we're at. And if I fully turn around here, from facing the south, it all goes lower as you get to the south end of the field. And so you can see where the water is trying to travel to, to get to the creek that's down there on this, this south end. Um, but it obviously water is going to travel um, from the highest point to the lowest point. And then that's what causes the soil to move is that rapid waterfall. Um, and there's, there's not really a good way to prevent it other than to move your soil around, uh, which we do quite a bit of. Um, to try to even that out and then make sure that you have good tiling put in to where that can help move water out too. But keep in mind, you can only move water so fast. A tile can only absorb so much and take so much um, so quickly. So you have to do your best to work with the land um, and try to manage that water um, as best you can. But just it's hard to see, but there's tile in here. I don't know if I can show you in here or not. The reason that the depth of this barrel on here, it was just a barrel, okay? And then you cut slits in it so water can still flow in there. But what happens is the debris, so weeds that are dried up and um, the residue, which would be your corn stalks, your bean stubble, all of that flows into this too, because it's with the water, and then it can plug up your tile. And so the, the purpose of putting that barrel is to help prevent some of that from happening. And then you'll have to come over and kind of clean that out every now and again. Notice that he's also got rocks piled in here. So anything to try to help slow that water down. Um, and we've kind of got a pile, like a pile of soil right here. And then it goes on to the other side, it's lower, to help stop that water. And then hopefully direct it into the, to the barrel here. Example of a sinkhole here, and I'll stick my foot in there. And so if, I know it's hard to tell in the video, but it's at, le at least so shin, shin high for me. Um, Caused some, some major damage if you dropped a piece of equipment down in there. I forgot to video the before. You're starting to see some of my after now. I'm not done yet, but I'm filling in a washout. So through here, okay, you can see where I've been pulling soil from each side because it went down like this. So I'm scraping and pulling soil and filling all this in. But take a look at where did all of our soil go? Oh goodness, right there. <laughs> um, as did some of, of course, um, rocks, which those can go, but some of our, um, the, the cover that we leave. So this is bean stubble. It's going to be corn this year. Um, and it, it, it's residue is what it's properly called, but it's all this in here. So um, you can see where that water has made a nice path to get itself. The creek is over here actually. So it has made its way through here um, to get to the lowest part of the field, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, it's just not supposed to erode all of our soil in the process. Well, really you don't want soil. The finished product. This will get a finishing tool run back over it before it gets planted. Another example of soil erosion. follow it right up to where it's coming from up there. So what's going to happen next is I'm actually going to take what I have hooked to the tractor there and um, we call it the turbo till, but it's a, it's a finishing tool. I'm going to take that and try to work in the best I can. It's not the right tool for that job, but we're ready to plant, so I'm going to make it work. Um, notice the gravel. That's all part of the sediment that it's washed, washed through here. So my dad came down with the tractor and it's a mini earth mover, I think is what the proper name is for this little guy. I'm running it now, um, but I wanted to show you what it does. And so it's nice because, so this is what we tore our fence around right there. And I'm literally doing ovals or circles, whatever you want to call it, to, there, there's what I've done, to smooth it all back out so that we can plant this. But we've used a skid loader on this and then our final step here before running the land finish over it is to grade it out as smooth as we can. So I have been doing loops. 
But what this thing does, behind me here, so you can use it as a grater box, which is essentially what I'm doing right now, except for where there's really low places, then I can actually lift it up and drop soil there, and then, so basically fill it in, and then smooth it back out again. 